So as a lot of you guys are aware, Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws is about to get into the hands of players, and there is a bunch of show reviews that are out there, namely from places like IGN, Kotaku, and whatnot, that have gotten their review copies, and while showcasing some of the worst gameplay, some of the worst AI, and some of the worst animations, and just overall some of the worst gameplay I've ever seen, uh, while showcasing that, they have the nerve to tell you that this is some of the most best gameplay that they've ever seen in a long time. Now, apparently, we we have more news coming out at the fact that Ubisoft is now apparently trying to bribe YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours just to promote Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> Now, I got to be honest with you guys, this is really not that shocking of information considering that this happens all the time, right? This is the reason why you have people that are against what we do on YouTube who are also YouTubers and influencers. Most of them are a very small stature, and even some of the biggest channels don't really get the amount of views that they should be getting for a channel of that size. The reason why is because people might subscribe in the beginning because they think they found a channel that's going to talk about whatever they're interested in. But the funny thing is, uh, that's not the case. They end up finding out that these influencers will do literally anything to push the narrative surrounding a certain video game, TV show, or movie, and then people come to find out that the stuff that they're consuming, the information they're consuming, is usually biased in one direction, and they end up stop they end up not watching anymore. They might not unsubscribe because people usually are too lazy to do that, but they will stop watching. So that's why there's such a huge disparity in numbers. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do. If you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, the latest example that I could think of right off the top of my head is when Rings of Power came out, right? Rings of Power had the super fans. Remember that? The super fans, the super uh, uh, influencer fans who are big, big fans of Lord of the Rings. We promise. Wink, wink. Yeah, those super fans never once put out content about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Can you can you believe that? They actually, one of them, the, the girl that was there... You know, my girl Galadriel, that girl, she actually ended up putting out content about House of the fucking Dragon instead of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. And she got paid to go up there and be a super fan for uh, Amazon. So they always do this, right? This is not shocking information, but I do think it's it's very interesting to talk about because we have to showcase it and remind everybody of these YouTube channels that are out there that are shilling for the mainstream, purposefully doing so and making sure they lie to their fans simply because they want to either gain uh, access or they want to maintain the access that they have. So it says a new investigation into Ubisoft's marketing campaign for Star Wars Outlaws reveals that the company buttered up to YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours before giving them access to four hours of gameplay footage. German YouTuber Cyberpunk20XX discovered multiple YouTubers and influencers revealed how they were actually influenced by Ubisoft as part of the company's largest marketing campaign ever. First, Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot revealed that the company was rolling out its largest marketing campaign ever for Star Wars Outlaws. And again, that's not very shocking considering it's Star Wars, right? This is a massive investment. You got to think, you know, you know, you got to think that how much money did they invest in just getting the license to utilize Star Wars, right? I mean, they've done this with so many different games. I'm sure they spent a lot of money to get Star Wars. There's not, it's not shocking that they're going to invest a lot more money into marketing to try to maximize the success of this game. During a recent earnings call, uh, Barclay Nick Dempsey asked, when I look at the guidance of for Q2, and if I assume something similar to back catalog in Q2 as Q1, kind of getting to the 200 to 230 million, that sort of range for the new release of Star Wars Outlaws, when I look at the $70 price tag and then assuming what you might get from it, I'm getting to around 5 million units. That's something in that sort of bracket. First of all, where can I be going wrong with that thinking? Secondly, are you just being pretty conservative in your guidance? Because I guess given the interest in that game, we might have thought it would be more than 5 million units. He replied, we can't comment on the very numbers you are quoting. Of course not. Why would you? Why would you want to comment? 
But what we have factored in is strong launch for Star Wars Outlaws that reflects the fact that it is among the most awaited games of the industry this year and a really strong, positive community sentiment. I'm glad I'm, I find it hilarious whenever they're on these earnings calls that they have to straight up lie, right? They have to straight up lie to their investors and be like, yeah, the community outreach is definitely positive. Without a doubt, there's no negativity surrounding this game whatsoever. And it's one of the most highly anticipated games of the year. Yeah, sure. Also, the fact that we are coming out with the biggest marketing campaign ever so far for a Ubisoft game. So that's what we've been factoring in in the second quarter. Part of that biggest marketing campaign ever was flying out YouTubers and influencers to Los Angeles to give them four hours with the game. Cyberpunk 20XX revealed that one of his fellow German YouTubers, uh, Kartoffel Konig, confirmed that the claim that it was the biggest marketing cam uh, campaign ever. As translated by the YouTuber, we are in with the largest marketing campaign ever for a Ubisoft game, and I could definitely confirm the last part, as I was invited by Ubisoft to come to Los Angeles and play in the Star Wars Outlaws event. The location was really polished up, and there was a day in Disneyland and something like that. Koenig continues, so Ubisoft spent a lot of money on that. Next, Cyberpunk 20XX shared footage from British influencer and YouTuber Luis uh, Julie, who revealed she was brought to Los Angeles by Ubisoft early and was taken on a boat tour that she claims was originally a whale tour to see if we could spot any whales. She added, so basically they invited a bunch of UK creators who got there early because our flights were booked early because it's a very long travel time. It was like a 12 hour journey. Uh, he also confirmed that Ubisoft was indeed paying for these international domestic flights for YouTubers and influencers. So they're just basically flying out a bunch of people that seemingly are not in the United States for whatever reason. And they're deciding to bring them out to Los Angeles to give them a day or two of fun in the sun if you catch my drift. So they're trying to buy and pay people's reviews of any YouTube channel that has any kind of audience that is shilling for the mainstream, right? So at the end of the day, man, I, I think this is nothing new, right? We see this happen all the time, but even though it's nothing new, we need to constantly talk about it when it does happen because you have companies like Ubisoft that are trying to spin the narrative around this game that everybody knows people are hating on this game right now. The gameplay love, I mean, fuck the fact that they made Cave Vest ugly, even though she is literally fucking disgusting compared to her original actress, but it's not even about that anymore. This is like the same conversation surrounding Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, right? Yeah, sure. The game was a little woke. No problem, right? Sure. The game partner with Sweet Baby Inc. But at the end of the day, take all that away. The game is fucking broken, right? It's the same thing with that game. The game is broken. If you want to talk about Star Wars Outlaws, the game is literally buggy. The AI is terrible. The gameplay is laughable. And the characters fucking lip syncing and animations are god awful. I've seen better links lip syncing in Japanese anime. I mean, what are we doing here? What are we honestly fucking doing here so at the end of the day man ubisoft is going to do what they do for damage control that's just what it is and uh i can't wait to see how this game performs if it's successful or not obviously i will let you know in a future video so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out ah your support is well seen